Do I really need to clean my no-clean assembly? I'm Chris Robertson, IPC's Manager of Assembly Technology, and I'm answering IPC's technical question online. Whether you need to clean a no-clean assembly is addressed in the new IPC CH65B, Guidelines for Cleaning of Printed Boards and Assemblies. The name no-clean flux is really a little bit misleading. The group of flux formulations, which has been assigned the name No Clean, would really be better labeled Low Solids. Flux is made up of active ingredients, solids, and a solvent or carrier of some kind. The so-called No Clean fluxes simply have a higher ratio of carrier to solids than do the older or cleanable fluxes. All fluxes really are cleanable since there are solvents and processes which will clean or remove any residue left on the assembly after the soldering process. With higher solids fluxes, there was no question about cleaning. The residue which was left could cause corrosion and had to be removed from the assembly. The newer, low solids fluxes leave much less residue. This is a good thing since it means there's less chance of corrosion from the residue but it does not mean there's no chance of corrosion. You still may need to clean the assembly. It depends on the reliability expected from the assembly or the application in which it will be used. A class three assembly may be one which is used in a pacemaker, aircraft, or space application, and it may be exposed to extreme conditions and environments. Cleaning even a no-clean residue is an additional step, which, while adding some cost to the assembly, can reduce the possibility of corrosion or failure. Even a Class 1 assembly, like a fast food restaurant meal toy, may need to be cleaned. That toy may end up in the mouth of a child, and the residue might be harmful if swallowed. So back to the original question. Do I really need to clean my no-clean assembly? The answer could be yes. Thanks for listening and keep sending those questions to answers at ipc.org.